When we talk about DCS, one of the most difficult things is to try to explain to a new customer exactly what the DCS is. And as we said before, it's actually a combination of many, many different parts. Here on the table in front of you, we have what we call basically the core system. And on the table, this is everything that you need to do visible photography. And this includes many different parts. Over there on the far end of the table, we have the computer system and the printer and monitor, which form the basis of the system. On the computer itself, there are several different parts of the software that are used to capture, enhance and encrypt the fingerprint images. At the heart of the system, we have the Nikon D5 camera system. But this is not a standard D Nikon D5, it's actually a modified Nikon D5. And in the very near future, we will be changing to the Nikon D6 now. That has become available. As we come across to here, we have different lighting systems. Lighting that is used in the visible part of the spectrum and can also be used for fluorescence photography as well. Here, we have various filters that are used in combination with the lighting. And then finally, over here, we have various lighting attachments, such as backlighting, ring lights, and coaxial lighting that are used in combination with these lights to create special illumination techniques to help visualize the fingerprints. But the DCS is modular in its construction, and the core system can be added to to enhance the user experience. So let's have a look at some of the other options that can be added to the core system to improve and enhance its capabilities. So first of all, we have a screen that can be added to the Nikon D5 to give you, uh, typically used at the crime scene, so that you can see a larger version of the images compared to those on the back of the camera. There is also an optional tilt and shift lens that you have here, whereby we can actually adjust the angle of the lens while keeping the camera fixed. This can be particularly useful for photographing fingerprints on curved surfaces, where it's very, very difficult to get the whole fingerprint in focus. And one of the other great things about the DCS system is that it uses magnetic filters. So there's no need to screw the filters on, they just magnetically connect together. Here we have a line light attachment. This is used to create oblique lighting, which can be useful for photographing either shoe prints or fingerprints in dust. As we move across to here, these are perhaps some of the two main uh, additions that customers buy. So first of all, we have our UV uh, imaging option. So this uses a lens that is able to pass UV light through to the camera a very high powered UV light source and the appropriate filters. And this can be used to photograph fingerprints using UV absorption and reflection techniques. As we come to here, this is actually our infrared package. So adding this to the system gives you the ability to photograph in the infrared part of the spectrum. So here we have high powered uh, handheld infrared light source and we also have another light source here which is used to create blue, red and infrared lights. And these are optimized to use with our FP1 and FP2 uh, fingerprint powders which can be used to remove backgrounds such as banknotes in the infrared. And we have the appropriate camera filters to go with those as well. And then finally over here, we have our CSU system, uh, which is often used in connection with our recover system. And this system is used to photograph typically bullet cartridges, uh, for example, or other curved surfaces such as screwdrivers or pens. And this actually rotates the uh, evidence around and the DCS will photograph it multiple times and build up a flat surface of the evidence. And there is appropriate lighting, very specialized lighting. This is our, um, our lighting tunnel that goes with this. 
and the, the lighting and the CSU work together to give you fantastic fingerprint images on curved surfaces.